All right, today we have, let's start to work on this uh, machine here. Let me show you. Cushman Grooms Master Sand Trap Rake, Bunker Rake. And it's got a couple of problems. They were turning the key on it, and the starter didn't seem to engage every single time. Might be a bad starter. But also, when they turned the key on, or when they turned the key off, the machine was still trying to start, even with the key turned off. And then we even pulled the key out of it, and the machine was still trying to start. So something's going on with the ignition switch also. But right now, we are going to look at the starter. Now, I took the back bed off already. I didn't get a chance to film that. But basically, there's a hinge there. This one had a cotter pin. And there was a nut and bolt on this side that this thing hinged on. So it was really simple to take that off. Now your starter is going to be located right back behind this guard here. And you probably can't see it down there. There it is down there. That's it. So I need to get to that. So we got to start by taking this guard off, which is going to have a couple bolts, nuts and bolts here. Got one here. And then there should be, well, there should have been another one, but this machine seems to be missing one. Should have been another one down there. So let's start by uh, taking this off here. These are, I already started backing this one out. They're a half inch. So pop them two out, slide that off, see if we can get a better look at the starter and what's going on down there. Be able to just pull this off with little to no effort. So a starter right there. Oh yeah, that's not even in there. That whole starter is just loose. There's a bolt. See that gold bolt there behind that wire right there? It's way back in there. Let's see if I can get the camera won't focus. Uh, hopefully I can get to that. That is a... Uh, some pretty tight quarters there so hopefully I can get in there and get that bolt without having to take this uh, hydro pump off all right so it is a star tip I got two extensions on my air gun here I don't have any swivels on the uh, extensions it just went straight in so <laughs> leave yeah, it's out I'm probably gonna drop up oh, I heard it just drop so there's the uh, that's the star bit I used there and did we get it out I can't see in there yet all right now there is another one to show you so it is in the front of the starter, we got that top bolt out. That was up top. Now, if you feel underneath of the starter, you're gonna feel another star head on the very bottom of it. It's not visible to the eye. Try to attempt that bottom bolt again because this bit kept falling out of the socket. So a little piece of advice. I'm gonna get some electrical tape and tape it around here. Um, because this thing fell out like three or four times, so rather than sit here swearing and cursing up a storm, I'm just going to take a second and tape this, uh, tape this bit onto there, because it's really hard trying to fit that underneath that starter and feel your way into that star bit, and then have this keep falling off once you get it in. It's really annoying, so I'm going to save everybody a headache before they even start. Secure this bit inside of your socket before you start reaching down in there and uh, have a magnetic tool handy because I did drop it a couple times and had to fish it out. So just in case the uh, bit itself falls off, 
it's really tight inside that machine. Um, definitely get yourself a magnetic tool. Or once you know which bit fits, um, get a couple of these out. Um, I had already lost one, so I had to go find another one of these. Just get a couple of these out. Once you get your top bolt out, you'll be able to size it up um, to your bits. And just get a couple of those star bits on standby. Because chances are you will drop one down inside the motor. Got the bottom bolt out. Lucky for me, it wasn't tight. I was able to put the star bit on there with an extension. And uh, turn it by hand. And the starter dropped. Now the wire that was here was really brittle and that broke off. So now you should just be able to pull that starter like that right out of your machine. And again, I apologize for the terrible lighting, but let's bring this over here. Now that's it. Um, got some type of number on there. Looks like... One, one, zero, seven, that looks like a two. I don't know what was after that. Only problem that I saw that that was brittle, and of course this was loose. Which probably was the uh, problem with why it was only starting sporadically. But we still have an issue with that machine, with the switch. Even with the key out, it was still trying to start. So, but that's how you get the starter out. All right, so, you saw how we got the starter out. And uh, I did another video, if you check it out, on how to bench test it. Now, getting it back in has, you know, proven otherwise that it's not going to be very easy. So, as you see, the motor here, motor up on chains, and I pulled it up. Because... You can't, well, where's my light at? There we go. There's the top bolt, which with this pump being in a way here, the top bolt was kind of, it was all right to get in, but I'm still not sure if it's cross-threading or not, so I stopped. And now you can see your bottom bolt. I still didn't put that in yet. But when that motor was sitting down in there, I could not get that to go back in. Um, you really need two people. Somebody's got to hold that starter straight and try to get that bottom bolt back in there. And even with a second person, we just could not get it to line up. Um, it's just very small space in there. So, uh, basically to get this motor up, I kind of wish I filmed that, but I was really aggravated, so I just kind of skipped that step. There is four bolts. One, two, three, four that hold that motor on and you got to get it up in the air if you don't have a lift use a jack be safe put some jack stands underneath and it's just four bolts half inch take those nuts and bolts off and there's a couple of wires up top that I just disconnected real fast the fuel line because that was going to overextend once this came in the air the air filter line and uh, I think that might have been it. I was able to leave on, as you can see, all the linkage, the throttle cables and stuff. They didn't overextend at all. They still got a lot of play in them. And uh, there's your air filter hose that I disconnected. And that's really it. It'll lift right up. Now, if you don't have a uh, engine puller, um, there is a space you can see in that cross frame where if you get a jack... You might be able to jack it up a little bit, but I still don't know if a jack is going to give you this height. But anyway, this is a really comfortable spot now where I can do this myself and uh, line that bottom bolt up and that top bolt and then just drop this motor back down in there and get that starter in. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to go through all that, but that's the name of the game. Not sure if any of this video helped anybody at all. This is an older machine, it looks like. I don't know too many people that may still have them, but um, if you have a Cushman uh, Groom Master Sand Trap Bunker Rake, that is the issues you're going to run into with that starter. 
and um, good luck with it. See you next time.